Okay, as I promised, let's go ahead and fight this bad guy, huh? Let's create a bad guy to fight. Evil mastermind. Oh, enemy. Scourge of the universe. Needs to be dealt with. Look at that evil face. Oh my goodness. All right. So let's give him variables. We're going to say he's got four hit points. And yeah, that's all we need to do for right now, actually. So the bullet is what's going to reduce hit points of the enemy, right? So when the bullet is created, it's running speed of six, direction of zero, dies, it destroys itself when it goes out of the room. Now we need to add an event that says collision with O enemy. And we're gonna say with other. So with the thing we're colliding with. We're going to reduce the hit points by four. And then we're going to destroy the bullet. Otherwise, it just tears through everything. Let's say, whoops, I forgot to add what happens to it. There we go. So with other, with the sh thing it's colliding with, its hit points will be reduced by four. Oh, just change that to one. Four is too powerful. It's got four hit points. So if we shoot it now, nothing would happen. Its hit points would dip way down into the negative because it, we don't have anything telling it to happen. What hap you know, we're not telling it what to do when it runs out of hit points. So now we're gonna set up a condition. If hit points are less than or equal to zero, instance destroy. We have to do less than or equal to because if our, you know, if our bullet did five damage, what if we power up our ship later and our bullets do more damage than it even has hit points? Without saying, like, if we just said, if hit points equal zero, then its hit points could go way into the negative and it would never die because this condition wouldn't be met. So we got to say, if hit points are less than equal, uh, less than or equal to zero, it's going to die. So let's add some bad guys to the room. Here's a little hint, if you hold, if you have an object highlighted, you can hold down Alt and create uh, as many of them as you want. Create a whole pyramid of bad guys to fight through. And if you create way too many and you're sick of seeing that many bad guys, you can actually hold down Shift and select them all, or you can resize them. He's going to be a real weird, stretchy bad guy. He's going to be tall. Let's see what happens. So after four bullets, it dies, right? But that's terribly unexciting. That doesn't really... It's not that satisfying. So let's juice it up a little bit. Let's make something happen when it gets hit by the bullet so that we know it's taking damage. We're going to use a function called image blend. C red. We're going to make this enemy's colors blend with this color. C red. So it's going to turn red when it gets hit. But if it stays red, that's not very good. Because then it just looks red. And everything turns red. And it doesn't really do much for us. So we're going to say alarm 0 equals 3. Now, alarms are unique to every object. And so what... Alarm zero is for a player. It's totally unique to what it will be for our bullet and our enemy. So for our enemy, we're going to say alarm zero equals image blend will C white. C white will return it back to its original color. So when it gets hit, it'll turn red. And then when it after three steps, it'll go back to white. There you go. See, now you can you can tell it's taking damage now. It's really important. It gets frustrating if you have no idea if something's taking damage. If you have a boss with tons of hit points and like it has a specific weak spot or uh, armor or something, the players need some kind of audio and visual cue as to whether or not what they're doing is working or not working. They need to know that it's taking damage or not taking damage. And having it flash a certain color certainly helps. We're going to do one more thing real quick before the end of this lesson. We're going to add some more variables. Reset and leave. Reset equals and leave. We need that little alt trick again. 
board deck. Reset is going to be ORD R. Close all the parentheses. This is going to be VK gate. I like to add some spaces in there so that everything is nice and clear. I'm going to say if reset, game restart. Actually, here's something interesting. When you're doing a line of code like this, if it's you're only doing one condition, you don't actually have to use brackets, but I personally think it, it makes things more readable. And being able to read what you're doing is one of the most important things in coding, otherwise you'll get lost. If you have complex code and you can't remember what it says, then you need to it needs to be easily readable. If leave, you could just say game end. And that would actually work just fine. We're gonna go ahead and leave it. I like having all the stuff in the brackets. And actually, kind of made a point. Here's these descriptions up here. That's really good. We need to say what each thing is doing. So we're going to say these are going to be clamp. Under the clamp, let's say these are the controls. We're going to say star reset and exit. Exit is already a function, which is why we call it leave instead of exit. This is going to be movement. So that way everything is labeled. We remember what these are. And if we needed to, we could even say, like, this moves the ship up by two pulls per frame. Actually, technically, it's per step. And we could comment whatever we want. You just have to do these two slashes to comment on something. So you could do that for everything that you want. It's not necessary for everything as long as you can keep up with it. But you say like, our attack controls. And you know what? If you're having trouble remembering what something is, by all means, write it down. Comment everything if you feel the need to. That's fine. Be sure to save your project frequently. I forgot to mention that earlier, but it's very important. Be sure to do that. So now we have got a room full of bad guys. A ship that can fly around and fire at baddies. They take damage. You can see that. And then what if we were like, ah, oh, man, I want to blow up those big guys again. Hit the R button. You just reset the game. Boom. Boom. Hit escape. You leave. All right, that's it for this time. Uh, next lesson, we'll be adding some kind of cheap but visible effects for this stuff. Thanks. Bye.